Salut! Salut! Today is Wednesday. Welcome back to SE Lifestyle. My name is Erica. It's all about creating a good lifestyle. All of that good stuff you guys already know. So I just decided to go ahead and get the weekly vlog started in the middle of the week. I'm actually headed to see my client. Today is going to be the installation for her shelving in her game room my contractor he did a custom shelving unit the color is red it's absolutely gorgeous i don't think i showed you guys i end up showing you the sample but the finished product actually looks better than the sample so i am headed to her house to get that installed and that's about it. Um, I don't know what else is on the agenda as always. Just staying busy, work, 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 work. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and get the weekly vlog started. And I'll check back in with you guys when I get to my client's house. Okay, lifestyle lover. So I don't have my camera. Um, because I, I work today, so I'm just, I have my phone, and I'm at my client's house. Brian is getting ready to put up the shelving, so I want you guys to kind of take a look at that. But the last biggest piece that we were waiting on for this project has came in, which are the custom-made swivel chairs, and they are so gorgeous. So I wanted you guys to see them. Let me see this, let you get a better view. So these are these. Oh, shoot. Look at this. Let me hold this thing right. Aren't those gorgeous? This is the company that they were made by, CR Lane. They are custom, and we um, pretty much the fabric was selected to match these pillows. So basically, we're definitely going to need um, like a small drink table or a small side table to go between the swivels. I did not order one originally because I just wanted to make sure, see how much room we have. We had, um, but here's another angle. I hope you guys can get a good visual because I don't have my camera, so. I know sometimes, you know, the phone, sometimes the phone is good and sometimes it's not. So, yeah. And then we have Brian over here doing his thing. Yep. Tell the lifestyle lovers, hey, Brian. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Getting ready to do this installation and complete this project. Yes. On to the next. <laughs> On to the next. Okay. Oh, the world's so hot. Okay, lifestyle lovers, I actually had not been back to my client's house probably since the last time you guys, we were here on camera and I did like an interior stylist day in the life. So some items did come in because I basically just kind of went through, assessed everything, see what was still needed. And um, I was still looking for a center piece for this table. So this, I think it's like 40 inch full plan actually came in. Um, I sent my client like a couple of different uh, items that she didn't really care for. So this is one of the ones that she did like. And I think I'm going to do um, something on the side of this as well. I have an idea that I just kind of came up with um, since it came. And then there's also a rug that came in for the dining room as well. And I'm trying to convince her to get a huge, like a seven foot um, faux plan in the corner 
So I don't think she, she cares for it, but I just think it would just like set the space off. But I'm gonna see if I can convince her on this trip to go ahead and order it. It's quite expensive, but um, it's gorgeous. It really is. But yeah, so just like a few odds and ends and pretty much since everything is kind of decorated, I won't be able to do like a decorate with me from start to finish. So I think I'll probably just, you know, do some photos and kind of um, share it with you guys. I, I don't know the format that I'm gonna do it in, but I'll come up with something. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this rug and yeah. Two bars, two bars, things down. I think three. three. Uh huh. So you say this is thirty inches. The bar, the bar stool height is thirty inches. It's thirty inches. You sit there and see how comfortable it is. Oh, yeah. it's, good. it's good. Thirty inch bar stools. So okay. the the, um, the wood is one hundred percent oak, um, hardwood. The finish is called real red. It's a lacquer finish, so it ain't gonna never like peel off like paint or nothing like that. If you decide to add more cabinets or something like that, I got the real red uh, mixed shell already. So okay. It's kind of like those one of a kind stains. Okay. If I if I mix anything up, right? It's it's, it's, it's not gonna be that same red. So oh, like okay. Gallon so it's specific to specific to this project. So we're gonna do three bar stools, 30 inch bar stools right there. Because yeah, you already had a kind of Yeah. So no shelving right there, right? That's that's straight, right? I mean I kinda wouldn't because you know it you'll be like coming right. like this trying to shoot. Right. Okay. I just want to be sure. I just want to be sure. Okay. <laughs> lovers happy thursday today is thursday it is may 13th i am going to start with my daily devotional today and the topic for today is application accepted so it starts off with a scripture and the scripture reads as follows long ago even before he made the world god chose us to be his very own through what Christ would do for us. He decided then to make us holy in his eyes without a single fault. We who stand before him covered with his love. And it reads as follows. Applications are essential for gleaning the promises applicants from the inadequate. Fill out this form and find out if you're approved for a home loan, for a college admittance, for a credit card, 
we put our best qualities on paper tweak our weaknesses and hope for approval but rejection is always a possibility with god however our acceptance has already been promised we must only appeal to his son jesus who steps in on our behalf and petitions for our approval there is no credit flaw no failing grade and no past default that his death on the cross doesn't redeem completely. The prayer for today is, thank you Jesus for redeeming all humanity so that we can live in this new life and hope that our sins are forgiven and we can walk closely with you. Help me to walk in holiness today, which is impossible without you, but possible with you okay lifestyle lovers so take away from the word what you may today is thursday it is a work day for me so i am working from home i don't know if you guys can hear but it is raining outside so it is a rainy thursday okay so i had to kind of adjust the lighting a little bit um so yes it is a rainy thursday but i am working i've already ate my breakfast i've already had my coffee for the morning. It's probably about lunchtime. Um, so Brian is getting ready to come back. I need to remove this stuff off of the shelf because he advised me not to put anything up there, but I was hard headed. I wanted to see how it looked, but um, he's gonna come back. He's going to finish, um, just finish some finishing touches such as cough, caulking, just small stuff that he needs to do to the, to the bookcase. And I believe he's gonna go ahead and hook up the this faucet in the powder room i have been so overwhelmed the last couple of weeks i know you guys are tired of hearing me saying that but i was just taking on too much stuff so i just pretty much closed the door to the powder room and just pretty much act, acted like i hadn't even started on anything because i couldn't even think about something else to do no painting no anything so now that things are starting to slow down, I can focus back on the powder room. I do plan to do that maybe this weekend. We'll just see how it goes, but he's going to go ahead and install the fixtures for the pedestal sink and all of that. So I am going to pick back up on that project because I just kind of been ignoring it for the past two to three weeks because I was just like, the hell with that. Um... So yeah, not much on the agenda today. I am celebrating a milestone today. So today, May 13th, is actually my 19 year job anniversary lifestyle lovers. I have been working on my job for 19 years. I've worked in various roles throughout, um, throughout my career, but I have been on my job for 19 years. And I have just been so blessed. <laughs> I have just been so, so, so blessed. I have a really great job. I am really, really proud of my career. And I'm really, really happy to say that I've been able to maintain 19 years on my job throughout layoffs, throughout job cuts, throughout changes in the economy. Just the ups and downs, I'm still standing. Um, when I started back on my job 19 years ago, I think I started out making probably about $20 an hour at that time. I was, I think probably about 22 years old when I started on my job. And I just thought that was the best thing ever when I started making that type of money. And um, here we are 19 years later. I'm still blessed, still you know, making great money. I have moved in various roles. Um, and I'm just, I'm grateful. Today, I'm just having a lot of feeling of gratefulness. I'm almost done with my client. As you guys seen um, yesterday, we're wrapping it up. The last big items have came in. And she gave me a $1,000 tip, Lifestyle Lovers. A $1,000 tip. And I'm just so grateful. 
I'm just, I'm so grateful for just all of the blessings that God has bestowed upon me. I am so, so grateful. So, yeah, I've talked long enough. I'm going to just show you guys, nothing is in its place, but I've kind of been trying to just get stuff back in order. So, I just kind of moved some stuff out of the way. Um, I've been cleaning up, as you can see, I have clothes over here, so I've been kind of folding up some clothes, but I need to reorganize some stuff. So just to give you guys a look at how everything is looking, these are the white pillows. Um, if you've seen that haul that I did weeks ago, those are the white pillows that I purchased from High Fashion Home. So I think I like them better on the accent chairs. But I just kind of moved my table up. I've been folding up some clothes because I have a lot of laundry to do. And these are all of the items that were previously in my old bookcase but I need to go back through this stuff again. I kind of brought this box home from work. It's empty, but I need to go back through this stuff again. I think I showed you guys this stuff on the last vlog, but I don't. I um, placed my candles down here. So these are the ones that I've been burning and these are new ones. So I think this is going to be kind of where I place my candles. And then over here, um, Comcast did come and the box is moved upstairs. So I don't have to worry about that being in the way. But this is where I have placed all of my alcoholic beverages. This is a new drink that I bought from the bar. It's the Smirnoff Pink Lemonade. It's pretty good. Um, I just kind of made some fresh lemonade in my Vitamix blender and mixed it with it. It was pretty good. So, this is how it's looking. So, this is like entertainment items. So, yeah, just like a real chill work day. I'm going to go ahead and remove this stuff so it'll already be down before Brian comes. But, I, like I said in the last vlog, I am going to give you guys a full clean with me, a full decorate with me. I may order maybe like one or two pieces. I've seen something that I want at CB2. Um... So yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff down and then I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. lifestyle lover so it's a lot later in the evening brian has just finished up so i get to show you guys the um the pedestal sink i have all my hardware added to that i just need to finish painting but i can remember when brian first started this project and i was kind of moving all of my stuff out of the entertainment center that was previously there i'm not disturbing you by talking am i Okay, he's taking pictures. Make sure you send those to Trey too, Brian. Okay, so he's just taking some pictures for his portfolio. But I can remember when I was like cleaning out all my entertainment center and I had like all my alcohol and stuff over here. He was asking me, did I have Patron? He was like, do you drink Patron? And I was like, I do, but I don't have any. He was like, okay. We have to take a shot of Patron once we're done with this project. So now that we're done, we're going to celebrate. So, Salud. huh? Salud. <laughs> What'd you say, Sayu? Salud. Salud. What that mean? That's uh, when you're making the toast. So oh, salud. Okay. That's what you say? That's a uh, Spanish version, I guess. So I made sure that I purchased <laughs> a 
a bottle of Patron so we could actually celebrate once this project was done. So that's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't tell you when the last time I had a Patron shot. Okay, lifestyle lover, so we are celebrating the finish of the fireplace wall, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I wanna thank you so, so, so much. Although we're not done working together. No. We have more projects, but we're done with this one. I don't think I'm gonna do anything like this extensive for at least a couple of months. Okay. Okay. Well, we appreciate the opportunity to come in here and just, you know, right. meet your expectations. Yes, um, exceed it. But let's get down with let's it. Salute. Get... Okay. Do you do the you do this all this design and stuff? Uh, so how... so wait a minute. You do the, which one you do first? Cause I haven't had a shot in a long time. All right, so normally people put salt right here. Okay, you want salt right there? No. You don't, so put the salt right here. A big boy. Oh, you yeah. a big boy, okay, I ain't, I ain't no big girl. So people kind of like lick they, so the salt will stick. Lick the salt yeah. first. Yeah, lick the salt first. Uh huh. Squeeze the lime. Squeeze the lime. And it's not gonna be as bad. Salute. Salute. That was too much. So, Ooh. many countries like um, when someone invites you into their house, they always um, say, if I don't offer you a drink, you didn't do a good job. Oh, really? Or um, you're, you wasn't really welcome here. Oh, really? So once I get a shot of Patron or, you know, you put food in my belly, you know we did a good job. Okay, good. I've had a lot of shots of Patron on oh. my plane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is like a routine thing, huh? I didn't drink all mine, y'all. Brian pulled too much. Oh, wow. Ah. Let it marinate in a minute and then take another one. Are we taking another one? Okay, we did one more. Just one. Just one more, okay. I think I can handle just one more. Okay, y'all, we're gonna take our, our second shot. And we, we done working for the day. Yeah, we done working. Really. Brian done working, I'm off the clock. So lit. Huh? Okay. You don't want no salt? No. Okay. So lick. Oh, did you grab that one? Okay, lick. Then to better business. To better business, and more business, and more clients, and more money, and more blessings. <laughs> Go. I got it all down. I go twice though. Okay. Oh wow. So now you can go in there and you relax after the hard Just Ooh. chillax. For the rest of the I don't know if I'm gonna be chillaxing. I got some cleaning to do. But this is for you, Brian. You can take this with you. What? That's for me. This for you? I bought this for you. This was part of your tip. I bought this for you. I'm, I'm not keeping it. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> I'm going to go shoot a uh, fake tray head off, man. Oh, okay. But y'all going to take some shots. Okay. This for you. It's still hopeful. It'll stay still cold. And, um,. I'm gonna check out that place this weekend for the hardware. So next up, Lifestyle Lovers, is um, the doors, the custom doors. I have three of them. They're going in my bedroom. Those doors are really heavy. They're like solid wood. So one is gonna go on the bedroom door, one on my closet door, and one on my bathroom door. I just wanna select the hardware first, but that'll be our next order of business because the doors are just kind of leaned up against the wall right now. And I need to get those up. It's lifestyle lovers. Mm-hmm. Talking about that, that's what like I... So YouTube No, my YouTube Instagram? is SE Lifestyle. Everything is SE Lifestyle. Um, Instagram, Facebook, is SE Lifestyle. Like I-T-S. E for Erica lifestyle. It all it's 
easy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm your friend on Facebook. I follow you on Facebook and on Instagram. So if you go, this is who following you. You, sh you should be able to find me. Okay. You probably won't see yours in there until probably like another month. I don't know. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm be But posting. you are gonna post it though. Yeah. Do, is it okay if I tag you on Facebook? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. You, so you cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So the next order of business is actually getting the doors installed. I seen some hardware on build.com that I am interested in for those doors. I will like do like a split screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But Brian has a vendor here in Jacksonville. He advised me before I ordered the, that hardware for the doors to check his vendor out because I could possibly be able to just go in the store and purchase it and pay less. So I think I'm going to do that. Hopefully I will find the time to do it this weekend. And if I vlog this weekend, of course, you guys will come along with me. But um, those two shots did me in. So I think I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day for the rest of the day. Once I logged off from work, I did take a nap until Brian finished up. But we're pretty much done until the next project. He did advise that he wants to hire me for possibly some interior design work. So I think that me and Brian will continue to work together in the future, if not in my home, maybe on some projects that he has going on and he also has some big things coming up I, i'm not gonna tell everything but he has some big things going on and i'm really really proud of him i'm really really glad that we were able to get connected okay lifestyle lovers i just want to show you the hardware on the powder room that's done so we're getting shit done <laughs> Thank you. 